And then, so that was that for that test. Um, my question, a general question, is that we were going over ray tracing, but with two lenses today in my discussion, and that kind of threw me off because I knew how to do it with the one lens, and then when they did it with the second lens, I just didn't fully really understand that. So, right. do you think we can go over okay. one with uh, two lenses? Now, of course, the first key to being able to do ray tracing with two lenses is being a master of ray tracing with one lens. So the first step is to make sure you really understand how to do the ray tracing with the one lens. But Well, let's start trying to do some uh, retracing here. Um, so the first one goes parallel to the aperture. Mm -hmm. Good. And then um, it's a diverging lens. So Trace back? Trace back. Yeah, that's what we're calling it. Mm -hmm. Back to this focal point. Sounds good. Okay, good. So we know that when the ray comes in parallel to the axis, either it or its trace back goes to the focal point. Uh, we might just want to learn that for a converging ray, the outgoing ray would go to the focal point, but for a diverging ray, it's got to be the trace back that goes to the focal point. Because after all, we know that the light has to be going up in this direction. So based on common sense, there's no way this outgoing light ray could go to this focal point on the right. It's got to be the trace back that's going to the focal point on the left. Okay, good. And you've got to draw this dash first, because otherwise you don't know the angle to draw the outgoing ray. So, so far, so good. Now, the other ray that we learned to draw is the one that goes straight to the middle here. This is what we call the M ray. All right, this is what we call the M ray. Now, um, what happens to the M ray as it goes through the lens? It diverges. Oh, take or, a second. Oh, it, uh, it goes straight through. Remember that oh, the okay. M ray does not bend. Even though this is a diverging lens, the M ray the angle of the M ray never changes. The angle of the M ray doesn't change, either for a diverging or a converging lens. Um, so the M ray, you should just draw a straight line. My mind is a little curved. I was trying to draw a straight line through here. Okay. That didn't matter in this case because the image was at the trace back, but for another problem, it would be important to draw the, the M ray uh, correctly over here. So the M ray just goes straight through. Um, it's only the first P ray that it matters that it's uh, diverging over here. Okay. Uh, all right. So then we would. So then you go in from here to the second lens. Right. It goes to the first lens first. Uh, let's see here. So now we're going to treat this as the object for the second lens. Now, 
Now, at this point, I think we can pretty much just ignore this lens. We can just ignore this lens, because we already used the lens to see where this object was. Uh, so the point at this point now is we just pretend this lens isn't even here, and just pretend there actually is an object at this point. Let's just pretend there actually is an object at this point. And again, we're just going to ignore this lens over here, because this lens has already done its job of telling us where this object is. So um, I'm now going to draw another P-ray. And I'm going to ignore the idea that this would get bent by the lens, uh, because I've already used the lens to determine where this image was in the first place. So just as a problem-solving trick, as a problem-solving trick, I just now draw a new P-ray parallel to the axis to the top of this. We're just treating this like a new object. And then it would uh, go down to hit the second focal point. Now this one, we use the focal point on the right. Okay. For a converging ray, the outgoing light actually goes to the focal point, not the trace back. And then um, the other one would go to the center to extend your principal axis. Whoops. So where's your image? Right here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so my picture isn't coming out very good because notice that this is way far away from here, so this should be shrunk if you look at your chart. Because uh, I didn't use a straight edge, it didn't come out straight. This arrow seems like it's bigger than this. But in your picture, your picture came out well, right? Your arrow is teensy tiny, so it really did get shrunk. Um, and it really is a real image based on this object. Um, and it really is inverted, which is exactly what we would expect when we are further than twice the focal length from a converging lens. So this is what we would expect. Um, mine just didn't come out right because I. Uh, this is a terrible line over here. Okay. Uh, but anyway, here's where the, it would be. So the one tricky thing is you use the first lens to determine where the object is for the second lens, and then you ignore the first lens okay. and just pretend as if the light was just going straight through it. Um, we already used this lens to figure out where this object was. So something very helpful is to label this is the image from uh, lens one and the object for lens two. And then this image becomes the object, and we just draw the P and the, F, uh, the, P and the M rays just as we would have before. 